Today I'm going to show you the best way to automatically add captions to your video using Premiere Pro. So let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you. All right, so once you're over in Premiere Pro, you want to start a new project or a sequence and we're going to drag and drop our footage onto the timeline. So now we have a video where I'm just talking to the camera and I want to add captions. So the way we do that is we head on over to the text panel. If you don't have this, you can go over to window and text. And once we're in the text panel, we want to go to the captions tab. And from here, all we have to do is click create captions from transcript. Now Premiere Pro is going to automatically generate the captions for us, but we want to add some settings. So the maximum length in characters, we're going to want to make this around 15. And the minimum duration in seconds, we want this to be the lowest it can go. And lines will do single. So we're creating these settings so we don't have too much text on screen at one time. Now we're going to let Premiere Pro do its thing. And just like that, we have fast and accurate captions using Premiere Pro. Now we're going to take this a little bit further and make it perfect for social media. Now, if you upload your video just like this to social media, say Instagram or YouTube Shorts or TikTok, your text is going to get cut off. So I've created a 100% free safe zone overlay that'll show you exactly where to put your text and graphics so they're not cut off. All we have to do is drag and drop that on our timeline and it'll show us where we need to position our text. Everything inside this rectangle is going to be safe for social media. So we want to raise up our captions so they're inside this box. So we'll select all of our captions and we'll go to the properties panel. And from here, I'm going to give you guys the exact settings I use. So the first thing we want to do is we want to raise them up so we can see them. So first we'll center them and then we'll bring them down to roughly around 300. So in this case, they're right below my face. So the viewer doesn't have to move their eyes too much. Something like that looks good. And the font I use across all of my videos is called Akira Expanded. And I think this is a little too small, so I make it somewhere around 70. And that looks good. Now the last setting I use personally is in the shadows. So this slider here will adjust how hard or soft these shadows are. And I personally use something around 130. And we can just hide our overlay. And we're done. So that is the best way to automatically add captions to your video. If you want the safe zone overlay I use in this video, check out my website. It's available for 100% free. See you guys in the next one.